When you think about minimalism, there's a lot of things that can come to mind. Art, lifestyle, Marie Kondo, as people used to say, simple living. But when you say minimalism, Star Trek doesn't really res resonate with this, um, with many people minds. Like Star Trek always like, oh, shiny ships and, and adventures and, and essentially a better journey uh, for humanity. But deep down, Star Trek itself is a minimalist future. It offers us a minimalist future. A hopeful, a diverse and minimalist future. Hello Trekkies and welcome back with another video of Trekker Prize. Well today we're going to talk about something that I really wanted to touch on a long time now but I think this is the perfect time and especially in this pandemic it's something that you might want to think about and might can you know help in a sense uh, when we get out from this things might gonna look a bit different than how it looked before and that's minimalism in Star Trek because if we think about it Star Trek is a minimalist future so why Star Trek and the future is minimalist well if you think about the original series um, everything was of course funky but when you think about the original series aesthetics and you go into anyone's room or quarters Captain Kirk barely had anything in his uh, quarters. If you think about any Star Trek episode when we go to see someone's uh, quarters, what do you see? I, you either see a plant or some painting, but not much personal stuff. There's no clutter anywhere, there's no collectibles, there's just one or two pieces that, that means something to the person. When you think about it, they don't pursue money anymore in, in a global level. Of course not going into too much into the economy of Star Trek because that's that's another interesting um, topic to talk about but, but if you think about it no one really started hoarding things or collecting things which which is really a futuristic thing and really comes down to minimalism as well when you think about the aesthetics of each show uh, coming from the original series we can see that if you go into every any room any um, anyone's quarters, like Captain Kirk's or Spock's quarters, or, or Jimmy Dewan's or Scotty's quarters, you don't see clutter. You don't see um, unnecessary things lying around the, the place. And even if you go further in the timeline with Next Generation, DS9, Voyager, Enterprise, and Discovery, and Picard, you see that people only have things in their quarters, in their cabins, that, that means something for them, something really personal. If they don't need something in the future, if they have, if they read a book, if they don't need it, they put it back to the replicator and they recycle it. They don't go collecting things all over the place because they don't need it to. If you remember what um, Captain Picard told Lily in Star Trek VIII, profit is not something that drives our economy. Is getting more knowledgeable because that's something that you want to store, want to keep knowledge. Um, not something that you know <laughs> is eventually gonna uh, cover by dust. Minimalism is a really interesting topic that um, I got to introduce about a year or so ago. Um, yeah, about a year and a half. And I slowly started adapting um, some changes in my life as well. Um, I used to have a lot of pictures in my background. Uh, if you remember, my wall was always full of pictures. Like, if, if there was an inch, I put something there because I just wanted to have um, everything covered with, with my uh, interest. Now I only have three big pictures in my, in my wall behind. Um, I have a few more uh, posters as well, but slowly they're gonna get uh, reduced as well. But these three pictures actually got um, a frame, uh, and I rarely do this with um, things. Same with my Starship collections as well. If you noticed, I don't really have too much Starships in my in my collection, and this is something that um, I learned from Star Trek. And the same thing comes with every iterations of Star Trek. No one really had any um, extra clutter in their room or anything that you know indicates that hey that people is collecting or hoarding stuff because in the future it doesn't really matter anymore but in the future they want to enjoy life not collecting things that you don't necessarily need and it just ends up as clutter or covered by dust and you have to clean it every two weeks and of course minimalism has been present come thousands of years now and since 2006 they became again mainstream a lot of people started taking on this lifestyle change and um, if you think about it before minimalism came back star trek was the first um in a sense star trek was and science fiction in general was a clean minimalist idea of the future and do i love star trek because of this even more <laughs> of course yes because it just connected me and it just made me realize that that's something that I, I started outside of Star Trek, it actually connected back to Star Trek in a very deep personal level. 
So what I would like to know, what do you think about this topic? Do you think minimalism in the future is good or is it something that we should ditch and just collect as much as we can or just keep up with the same lifestyle and um, then hate people who hoard toilet paper? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this topic and I'm looking forward to have a, a good discussion with you guys. As always, don't forget to like and share the video and don't forget to check out my new podcast called The Warm Blanket where I talk about um, multiple guests about our love for Star Trek and eventually finding out what is our warm blanket. This is an audio journey that I started recently. It's available on YouTube and of course it's available on my website through the podcast um, section so feel free to check them out and I'm looking forward to have some uh, feedback on that as well. We're gonna have a really good conversation with every one of my guests. It's um, it's an absolute blast to, to do these and I hope um, you listeners will find some joy into it as well. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Live long and prosper.